Welcome. I'm Stephen Porges, and I will be running a online webinar, a workshop, with my wife, uh, Sue Carter, and it will be on the neurobiology of love and human relationships. And this workshop really is a synthesis of both Sue's and my research lives. I always like to say that Sue and I have been married for many, many years. We were married in 1970. And I like to say that our, we had independent research careers for the first 20 years, and then we got reacquainted in the brainstem. And what do I mean by that? We started to learn that what Sue was studying, which was bonding and oxytocin, and I was studying with uh, polyvagal theory, was we were really studying the same thing. I was studying it from a neural perspective and she was studying it from a neurochemical perspective. But the basic underlying metaphors of safety, trust, bonding, and how we as mammals learn or evolve, let's use the term evolve, to co-regulate and not to be independent or isolated organisms. So the theme of our workshop is really about the biological imperative and the biological imperative is that we need to connect. And of course, during the pandemic, we feel this immensely. It really goes right to the core of who we are as humans, that we are under threat. And when we've been under threat historically, or at least through the history of mammals and especially humans, we've used social interaction and connectedness as a way of mitigating threat. But during the pandemic, social, uh, interactions also become a threat. So we are in this paradoxical state and we are now limited in how we regulate each other and we regulate each other often through the method that I'm talking to you this morning. And as we regulate our physiology through video conferencing. And this becomes really the important message is that we are not uh, isolates. We were never, we never evolved to in a sense, totally be self-regulatory organisms. We are co-regulatory organisms. And what we learn in, in, in the terms of therapy, what is it that many people are coming into therapy for? They are telling you that they feel uncomfortable in the proximity and presence of others, yet they have great intentions to have relationships. They have an a internal narrative, a desire to be safe in the arms of another. But if they get in close proximity, their body goes into states of defense. Well, in this workshop, we'll start learning about the mechanisms underlying the feelings and the neurobiology of feeling safe. You'll learn about it from a polyvagal perspective, from a autonomic nervous system perspective, and then you'll learn about it from a neurochemical perspective. Let me mention that Sue is the scientist who discovered the importance of oxytocin in social relationships. So when you hear about oxytocin as being the cuddle hormone or the love hormone, that was all initiated by her work. So you can start seeing what our dialogues have been at lunch or at dinner, and uh, even during the pandemic, what our dialogues are all the time. We're always talking about very similar things from different perspectives. So what we will be talking about is really the neurobiology of what it is to be connected and how we learn from those who are not connected, how we learn about what it is to be a human. So in the world of trauma, the experience uh, for me in entering the world of trauma and trauma therapy has been, I've learned more about what it is to be a human than from any other discipline or any other set of experiences. Because within the world of trauma, people are telling you what they have lost. And we're learning to see that what they've lost is the capacity to feel safe, to trust, to be in proximity with another. And this has a neurobiological substrate. And this is the substrate that both Sue and I have spent our lives studying in terms of our research. But this is the substrate that therapists are working on to reduce the threat cues of being close with others. So I welcome you to join us for this webinar. So thank you very much.